All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Everything Business. Here we have the 2020 um POA past paper, paper one, right? And you will see the similarity between the other multiple choice, right? I would have done the 2024 paper one, and this is the 2020 paper one, right? So check it out. I will be reading very quickly, going through very quickly so that the video is not too long. So if you didn't catch something, you just pause the video, rewind, right? And so forth and so on. All right. So stay tuned. POB videos are coming up. I know POB exam is soon. So here we go. So number one, which are the following financial statements shows the value of a business assets. Obviously, the balance sheet, right? Two, the main internal users of accounting information are managers. We would have seen that question before. Number three, which of the following features are benefits of using accounting software? All of them. We would have seen a similar question before as well on the 2024 paper. Number four, which of the following list of activities shows the order, the correct order of the stages in the accounting cycle before final accounts, right? And so we, the correct answer here would be C, right? Number five, the following information refers to the assets and liabilities of Mr. Jones. And from the above information, Mr. Jones' capital amount is, the answer there is D. Remember to calculate capital is assets minus liabilities. And we would get the capital figure, right? So that is really what I did. Number six, partnerships are formed for the purpose of, and the correct answer there is D, right? Um, All of them, right? Number seven, which of the following is usually used to complete a general journal entry? Right. And the correct answer there is A, narration, right, or a narrative. All right. We move on. Item number eight refers to the following balances at the end of the financial period. Right. What is the total amount for the assets? So they give you the information and they ask you what is the total amount for the assets. So obviously, you would calculate all the assets, motor vehicles, receivables, building, and that would give you $14,000. So the correct answer is C. Um, so that was number eight. Number nine, right? Ramsing purchases, purchased goods valued at $500 on credit. He paid his bill within the grace period, so he received a 10% cash discount. How much did he pay for the goods? So you'd have to find the 10% of the 500 which is 50 dollars and then subtract it from the 500 they get 450 so the correct answer here is b number 10 which of the following items are examples of current liabilities this is very simple right um we would have seen this question on other papers already as well right so the correct answer here is c number 11 which of the following entries in a three column cash book are contra entries the correct answer here is a debit cash credit bank right that is really what a contra entry is Right, when you the double entry is completed within the cash book. Item 12 refers to the following balances taken from the books of Sherida Limited on the 30th of April 2019. What is the current ratio of Sherida's um limited? On other questions, they would have tampered with this. Well, not tamper, but they would have given a similar question to this, but they would have offered the acid test, right? Similar. The correct answer here though is C. You would have seen I put the current ratio formula there, and I labeled all the items so that they can know. Right, so you would add up all the current liabilities, um, and add up all the current assets, and then you work the formula: current assets divided by current liabilities. Number thirteen, which of the following entries should be used to post sales returns? The correct answer here is A: debit sales returns account and the credit receivables, um, account. Number fourteen, which of the following persons monitor a company's financial statements to discover a desirable rate of return, um, on their capital, which is um, A: investors. All right, number 15, item 15, it refers to the following information from the books of a company. From the information above, what is the correct closing total for the sales account? Correct answer there is 55,000, right? How did I get 55? You would add cash sales plus the credit sales because you want total sales, all right? Number 16, which of the following entries would not appear in a cash book? Well, Correct answer there is B because, well, that's the only answer that could work. Everything else would appear in the cash book. Number 17, K Kana debtor of A and B Enterprise. He settles his debt of 120 less discount by check. Right? Or should the double entry 
they were recorded in the books of A and B Enterprise. Remember, in the book of A and B Enterprise. So the correct answer there is C, right? 18, Mr. A. Jones paid $250 in cash for repairs to machinery. This transaction was entered in the cash book and posted to the ledger. The double entry involved would be, correct answer there would be C, debit repairs, because that's an expense, must be debited, right? And you credit the cash account. Number 20, in order to avoid writing numerous checks for small amounts, a firm may set up a it's a cash fund. Item 20 refers to the following information from the sales book of R. Lewis, right? And then it says, all would R. Lewis record is information in the ledger. And as you can see, you would debit his account and you would credit the sales day book $30, right? You would not use this for the five times to take out the discount, right? The discount is the trade discount, which is $15. So you record this amount, $30. We move on now to 21. A businessman bought a new computer for $6,000. He paid $4,000 in cash and traded in his old computer. What is the entry to record this transaction? We have seen similar questions like this on other multiple choice papers, if you check out my videos. Um, so it did just change the word in a little bit. So the correct answer there would be D, though. 22. Right. When a proprietor withdraws cash or other assets from a business, what effect does it have on drawings? Well, capital is decreased, and that's the only answer that could work right there. The other answers weren't even close. All right. 23. Now, your item 23 to 25 refers to the following statement of financial position or balance sheet. Right. And you say, what is the total value of a fixed asset? Right. This is pretty simple. Here, they are, here it is 14,500. Then it asks you the closing capital is, and closing capital is always the last double line figure, which is 23,000. Um, sorry, not 23,000, which is 20,000, which is this figure, sorry. All right, 20,000. Um, the working capital is, and we know the formula for working capital. Uh, working capital is, the formula for working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. So if you look at it, you have your, Current liabilities here, current assets figure there. So you subtract them and you get 5,500. In calculating the gross profit percentage, gross profit should be divided by net sales. D is the correct answer for that. All right. All right. So item 27 refers to the following in information. All right. What is the amount? of insurance prepaid at the end of the year, which is the $600 right here, because that is what is there as the balance. 28, I'm sorry, 28, which of the following financial documents shows the net earnings of a business, obviously the income statement, that is very easy. Item 29 refers to the following table. What is the total provision for doubt full debt? As you can see my workings there, I would multiply each of these by the amount and I would get the result Right, and then I add all three of them, and you get $340. Right, number 30, an asset purchased for $1,000 is depreciated at the rate of 10% per annum using the reducing balance method. What is the book value of the asset at the beginning of the third year, 810? We saw this question on other papers already. We saw this question on other papers already, so it's not a new, it's not a strange question. 31, an increase in the provision for doubtful debt will, correct answer there is D, included as an expense in the profit and loss account, right? If it was a decrease, it would be used as a revenue, right? But it says increase, all right? Item 32 refers to the following table, which shows the summarized position of Foster and Scott Limited, all right? They ask, what was the capital of Foster and Scott Limited at the 6th of March, 2018? Correct answer there is $90,000. And they're just testing their ability to calculate capital again, right? Assets minus liabilities. Item 33 refers to the following information. On the 1st of January, 2019, $10,000 was paid towards an advertising campaign. Of this amount, $7,000 was used by 31st of December, 2019. What was the amount of advertising prepaid at year's end? The correct answer there is $3,000 dollars right and it's not difficult to calculate this is what you have at the start ten thousand what you have at the end right um 
you, you have you say, of this amount, 7,000 was used, you know, by that. So you subtract the seven from the 10, you get 3,000. 34, a standing order of $25 for insurance appears on the debit column of the bank statement. This amount does not appear in the cash book. How is it to be treated in, in order to update the cash book? It will be credited on the, the bank account of the cash book. And from it says, it appears on the debit side of the bank statement. You know that that is it's going to come on the credit side in the cash book. Items 35 refers to the following information provided by a business. What is the bank? What is the balance per bank statement? The correct answer there is D. Um, you have to start with the balance as per cash book. You add your unpresented check. So you have 560 plus 120. Then you subtract 150 and you would get 530. All right. And then we are item 36 refers to the following information. What is the inventory at the end of the year? And you can see my workings here. Opening stock is that. I add your purchases. You get the cost of goods available, which is 2700 and we know the cost of goods sold already, so we just put that and we just reverse engineer the closing stock. So we took away the 2,700 from the, uh, we took away the 1,300 from the um, 2,700, and uh, we get the 1,300 there. Yeah. All right. So this is 1,400, cost of goods sold, 1,400, sorry. 37, Mrs. Allen invested 20,000 and Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown and Mr. Cable. We have seen this question already on other paper. They're asking how we can share the profit. The answer there is $200 and there is my workings. You can pause the video and look at it, all right? Then we move on to 38. Um, Mr. Green and Mrs. Black agreed to establish a partnership, Green and Black Company, and each of them deposited 5,000 in the bank. How should this be recorded, right? The correct answer there is D. Right, you debit the bank account and you credit each partner's capital accounts. 39 a trader had an opening capital of 3900 If his joins were $900 and his closing capital was 4860 what was is what was the net profit? You would have seen my work in there. Remember the formula for incomplete records closing capital equal opening capital plus profit minus joins, and then you are transposing to find profit. So you bring over everything here. Right on this side of the, 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 the equal sign, they bring over everything, even the profit figure. So the drawing sign would change to positive, and the opening capital would change to minus. So it's closing capital minus the opening um, capital plus drawings equal the profit. So profit would be equal to 1,800. It got um, cut off right here. So it's 1,860. Right. So that's my working for that one. 40 Rose contributed $7,000 in cash. And a motor vehicle worth $3,000 to a partnership. Rose's contribution to the partnership would be recorded in the journal as, and we know, yes, yeah, so we would have looked at this question already in other papers. The correct answer there is C, right? 41, in a cooperative society, the daily affairs are administered by persons elected or appointed to do so. Yes, 42, the owner of a business paid a personal medical bill from the bank account of the business. The amount was debited to the miscellaneous expense account. Which of the following concepts was violated? The business entity concept, which state that the business must be kept as a separate entity from the owner. For the tree, a photocopy machine you valued at 5000 is depreciated at 10% using the straight line method. Um, what is the book value after two years? And this is very easy to calculate. You just say 10% of of 5,000 is 500 times 2. That is 1,000. Subtract that from the 5,000 because it's 2 years. So it is $4,000. 44. According to the Partnership Act, if there is a is no deed in the partnership, right, then, I mean, um, the amount of profit to be received by each partner would be, would be divided equally. Right? 45. Which of the following items on a statement of financial position would differ most in presentation when comparing the books of a company to a sole trader? The capital part would be different. Um, 46. The reward of profit received by a shareholder in a limited company is called dividends. So that is what? C. 47. Right. How does the an increase in bad debt affect a sole trader financial statement? Well, it will decrease the net profit because it's an expense to the business. Which of the following accounts are nominal wages and rent? Um, which of the following items or terms, sorry, best define? Describes, sorry, the fin final accounts of a non-profit organization. 
uh, only two and three income statement would not be utilized. 50, an example of a capital expenditure is money spent for purchasing a new building. The purpose of an appropriation account is to A, show how the net profit is distributed in a partnership or a cooperative. But 52, 52, if revenue expenditure is overstated, which of the following um, items will be affected? The working capital will be affected. 53, there's a similar question to that as well. I mean, in other papers, but it includes profit and stuff like that. 53, when writing up the books of a partnership, which account must each partner have? Well, B, current account. All right. Um, item 54 refers to the following information. What is the cost of raw materials consumed? From this information that we are given here, right, it is 3,900. Item 55 refers to the following table, right? The amount of clubs accumulated fund was D, 9,897. Accumulated fund is just another name for capital, right? So you would do the same in terms of adding up your assets and subtracting your liabilities, right, to get the capital figure, right? And we don't, we don't, we don't have any, um, don't really have any liabilities here, right? So you will just add up all of these. That would be accumulated fund, right? So this is basically your capital, right? So assets will be equal to capital. Um, We're going on. Salary is paid. To the administrative staff in a factory would be classified as which of the following types of costs indirect costs when a company declares a dividend of 15 percent the dividend warrant of a shareholder owing 1500 one dollar ordinary shares is 225 dollars so it's really 15 percent of 1500 you get 225 prime cost is 79,110 of its expenses 3,000 and factory over it is 4,720. How much is the cost of production or the production cost? You would not use the $3,000, but you would add the 79 plus the 4,000. You get 83,830. And that is C is the correct answer. And item 59 refers to the following list of balances. Using the list of balances above, what is the cost of goods produced? The correct answer there is 11,100. All right. And this is a simple Simple, you know, calculation to calculate that. Um, 60, P. Amos is employed by a construction company at a rate of $7 per hour during a week. He worked his basic week of 40 hours, so 7 times 40. And the income tax is $20 minus 20. Um, he's also liable to pay insurance as 5% of his gross pay. So the 7 times the 40 would give you his gross pay. I would suggest you calculate the 5% and subtract it first, and then you subtract the $20, which would give you A246. And there you have it. That's the end of the 2020 paper. Pretty simple. Stay tuned for more. Let me know what you think in the comment, right? Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, right? And walk good.